Hi. Welcome to our channel. In this video, we're going to talk about an options trading strategy that has that typical funny name, the Batman spread. Yes, Batman. Like the famous comic book character, created by Bob Kane in the 1940s. Before we start, if the content in this video is helpful to you, remember to hit the thumb up and subscribe to the channel. And also, please share the video with your friends. This encourages us to produce analysis like this one of other options trading strategies. Well, the first thing to notice is that the Batman spread is a six legged strategy where we combine three puts. Let's label them A, B, and C, and three calls D, E, and F, such that A is less than B, which is less than C which is less than D, which is less than E, which is ultimately less than F. To set up the strategy, what we should do is as follows. We buy, say, 1000 puts with strike A. Then we sell 2000 puts with strike B. Then we buy 1000 puts with strike C. This is the first half of the strategy. As for the other half, the calls. We buy 1000 with strike D. Then we sell 2000 calls with strike E. And, finally, we buy 1000 with strike F. To be more general, the number of options on short legs is twice as many, as long legs. In the end, we will have the same number of bought options and sold options. Batman spread, as you can see, is not as simple a strategy, as other popular option strategies, such as call, or put spreads, First, because of the number of legs, and also the fact that there are not the same number of options, on all legs. Thus, it requires a lot of attention from the trader, not to mess things up during setup. Let's go ahead. Here we see, in schematic form, the strategy's payoff diagram. And it should be clear, by now, we think, why it's called the Batman spread. The first thing to notice here is that the Batman spread is a convex strategy, where maximum loss is limited. Therefore, the trader, during the strategy setup, knows beforehand what he, or she, can get at expiration, which is essential for good risk management. Like other strategies, other spreads, the profit of a Batman spread is also limited. In this case, the maximum profit of the strategy, corresponds to the tip of the bat's ears. Well, now is a good time to take a look at an example, with numerical data, of a Batman spread. Let's consider Microsoft's stock as our underlying asset. On February 26, 2021, this stock traded at $232.90, per share. The expiration of the options was on March 26, 2021, that is, 28 days later. The annualized volatility of the stock was 32%. In the Black and Skulls calculations, the risk-free interest rate was 0.03%, corresponding to the yield of the Treasury bond. This is the theoretical, it's important to highlight this, the theoretical rate of return of an investment with no risk. In practice, however small the risk, it is not strictly zero. On the first leg, we bought 1,000 puts, with a $195 strike at $1.42. Leg 2. We have now sold 2,000 puts with a $217.50 strike. Each option at $4.05. As for the third leg, it also involves buying 1,000 puts, like the first, but the option strike is $220 and the payout is $5.10. So we have the first three legs, of Batman spread with puts. On the next leg, we open a long position on the, $240 strike call, expending $4.20 per option, for 1,000 options. Next, we go short 2,000 calls. The strike of these options is $242.50, and the premium is $3.05. Finally, on the last leg, we buy 1,000 calls, at $0.31 cents per option, with the strike being $265. What should we expect from this trading setup when options expire? 
On this last slide, we can see, on the left, the payoff diagram that corresponds to the trading setup shown on the previous slide. The arrows on the payoff diagram, that point to the right, mark the position of the strikes for the calls, while the arrows, that point to the left, do the same for puts. Blue arrows are for long positions, while red arrows are for short positions. This trading setup is profitable, if the Microsoft share price at expiration is between $211.84 and $248.17. The maximum profit is $5,670, and the maximum loss is almost three times that, $16,830. The probability of profit, or simply POP for short, of this trading setup, when we assume a normal distribution of returns for Microsoft shares, is about 62%. It should be clear that this is a probability that we estimate based on calculations. These calculations were carried out using our Options Strategy Simulator applet, which is available for free download from our blog. Please look at the link in the description of this video. This is just one example, of a trading setup that implements the Batman spread strategy. It's not necessarily the best setup, despite the relatively high profit probability. You can use our options strategy simulator, which we strongly recommend, of course, or any simulator you like, for testing options strategies, to look for combinations of option positions that maximize profitability. We would like to make it clear that, we are not investment advisors, and the content in this video is purely educational. As such, it should not be viewed as recommendation. Thanks for watching this video.